Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a special guest, Mr. Joey Rasika. Oh, I feel like I messed up your last name. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. But uh, he has a new theme park or theme, yeah, theme park event type thing in development, and he's going to tell us all about it. So, Joey, um, how are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing great. Nice, nice. And you, uh, you are where? Uh, California. Oh, nice. So, what? Tell us here. What are you? Uh, what is your? What are you developing here? So, I'm developing a screen park. So it will have uh, four attractions and then uh, like a midway. You know, it's like food, games. Uh, mm -hmm. Like all kinds of like midway stuff, you know, like mm -hmm. like a typical like midway, and then there's gonna be scare actors and all kinds of different like stuff and like theming type stuff. Nice, nice. So these four attractions, there are rides or or walk. What are they? It's a walkthrough. It's a walkthrough. Like they're walkthroughs. Uh, so like a Halloween Horror Night type, maybe. Y yes, yes. But all year round. Yes. Oh, I like it. Like it. Do you have any? early themes or any any early uh, ideas yeah yeah mm -hmm. i do so i'm gonna be doing a slaughterhouse maze a clown maze a zombie and then also i'm gonna do like a like a doll slash toy theme so there will be two themes combined like a toy slash like doll Ooh. are these are they going to be just generic ideas or based off movies like the clown one is going to be based off it no they're going to be all like original ideas all original interesting i like i particularly like the one that i feel like that's going to be my favorite one so how big is your you have, you have a team developing this right not just yeah i, I do yourself. yeah i have a i have a few like uh, assistant managers a few like concept artists and stuff so and yeah. I'm still look and I'm still looking for people still. So if anyone is watching this, if you want to contact me or uh yeah, if you want to contact me, you can talk uh contact me through the through Nightmare World Screen Park email or you can contact me through the Facebook page or the Instagram page or the Twitter page. So, and I'll leave all those in the description below. But uh so let's see. So, so you have a team. How big is your team? Um, not that big, but I am, but I've been having talking to people and they have been wanting to help out. So I haven't hired them yet. So how, and so you said you're looking for some people, if let's say someone here is, or watching is interested, what uh, are, is there any specific position or a specific set of de uh, skills they would need to, you're looking? For? Yes. So I am looking like for like uh, des uh, maze designers. I'm looking for like like concept artists that can like design like the rooms and like you know like the concept art like for the rooms and stuff and mm -hmm. some other things too hmm. awesome now <laughs> actually was the judge you know tia the female uh, entertainment association no i don't i have a actually i'm a member of tia and it's a oh sorry my virtual background but see that that that's that logo right there tia um when uh sometimes you should look it up because you can actually post you can post job offer post descriptions of what you're looking for there and professionals okay. will can come and reach out to you as well so that's definitely go check that out um I'll, also i'll message you the link of what you tia and anyone else who's watching uh, if you like theme parks definitely become a member of tia if you want to work in the theme park industry it's a great they have like also have a little before like COVID. They had like little mixers and stuff. You can go out and meet people. And I had a few here in North Hollywood. So that's fun. So if you go check that out, because uh, they really had some. I met some, actually met someone who worked on a, the Jurassic World attraction here in Universal Hollywood. And oh, like, that's oh. cool. That's cool. And it turns out she she is watching my construction updates. That was pretty cool here. I worked on some, I met someone who worked on the Florida's Tower of Terror eons ago oh, that's cool that's cool yeah so definitely go and check that out I and mean, they have it's uh all states and all major cities so you're in california so you're there's plenty of them up to, uh wherever which 
every major city or close city. So definitely check that out, and everyone else here too. So let's see. Oh, let's see. so you're in California, but your park isn't going to open in California. No, so is so my so I was thinking in Florida, but I don't know if I'm going to do it in Florida because if uh, if people are watching this are getting confused because I live in California, so I don't know if it will be happening in Florida. So I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out yet. So it will. I'll probably figure that out soon and then probably push it up. Oh. So, is there a reason you chose Florida? Is it because there's all, all that, and probably you choose Orlando, I would assume, right? Yeah. So my manager is the one that want that wanted to do it in Florida, and so I think I'm gonna go talk to him about it mm -hmm. and get and get some uh, and see what he thinks. Yeah, there's definitely a nice, uh, <laughs> nice themed entertainment enclave over there, so that would work out. So, but you, would, so you'd obviously. Would you move to Florida? Or would you just fly over there and check on the progress of your park? I would pro I would probably stay in Florida. If, if it happens in Florida, I will probably stay there. Probably. Yeah, because that's me. Yeah, so yeah, it's a long flight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's see. Team party. Oh, so that sounds really cool. And um so you said your manager. So is your manager in Florida, or is everyone? No, here, he's in California. Like, he's in California. Uh, so everyone. So but everyone's just deciding Florida. Okay, yeah. and that makes more sense. A little bit cheaper over there too to build. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. And when do you expect this park to open? Um. Well, I'm thinking of well, the the construction will probably start in May or June of 2026, probably. Mm -hmm. And you said it'll take just a few months, right? It'll open like in the fall of twenty, fall winter twenty twenty six. Time for the Halloween. Yeah, probably season. like in September. I'm hoping like September. Yes. And is that for all of it, or just for like all four mazes, or just a couple mazes? No, all four for all four. And that makes sense because Universal starts constructing their mazes in May to have them up yeah. running by September. So that yeah. makes that makes sense. Um. Oh, that's you can be cashing on the 2026 Halloween season, so that'd be quite smart of you. Um, especially, yeah, especially because, and that's also good because everyone, you know, a lot of people are flying down there for Halloween Horror Nights. And then yeah. You just market that advertising perfectly. They'll be like, hey, look at this other cheaper event I can go to after Halloween Horror Nights. So that'd be pretty smart. I like what you and your team are thinking here. Um, I'll have to go check that out too. I've been to Florida in a long, long time. Um, so you have a website, correct? You, I know you mentioned earlier. Yeah, but, okay, but I time. need to make I need to make a new one because it's kind of like not what it is yet. Because the because the concept bar I have on my screen is not on it yet. So I need to figure out. I need to like make a new one and like make it like more better. Make it like more better, better. You know. Okay, cool. So, everyone, no website yet because it's under refurbishment. But Joey will let you know when there's a new website and you'll check out all the details. Speaking of details, do you have a rough idea of how much a ticket would cost? Um, probably forty dollars, probably for four mazes, probably. Well, that would be nice. That'll be like ten dollars a maze type of thing. And what is it? You is it? Like the kind of carnival style where you pay for each thing, or like theme park style where you get one ticket and you have access to everything. No, you have to like pay for like for the carnival games and like the food too. So. Oh well, yeah, well yeah, that. But like the, in terms of the attractions, it's not a pay per attraction. Right? It's just you get a ticket, and then you should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I like that's a nice decent price right there um have you looked at plots of land in orlando yet or you just kind of no argue? no i still need to do that i'm still i still need to work on that interesting okay cool awesome and so you mentioned you have concept art um is there any you would want to show us of your early concept art or is that well just you know that I, well i'm gonna keep it a secret but if you want to show like the hong kong the iconic characters like i sent you if you want to show that, that would be cool. 
Oh yes, let's uh, let's see if I can find those. Hold on. Um, scrolling through the message, you'll see I see. It's, I don't think I. Oh, here's something. So guys, here we go. Let me just. So, okay. so this is uh, one of the links he sent earlier before. This is the one of the food carts or restaurants. Monster dogs themed hot dogs. And look at this great menu here. We have um, all beef. I love me all beef hot dogs. And there's the yes, one monster. Yeah, so they'll they so the hot dogs are gonna be like foot longs or two foot longs. Oh nice. And you see I yeah, and yeah, and two. all of them comes with a choice of like chips, kettle chips or like, you know, like loaded chips or like loaded kettle chips too. So oh. get a choice of that too. So oh, nice. And see it looks like from here there's about ten. There are 12 menu items here, 12 types of hot dogs you can get. Yeah, yeah. Because I because I put one a few days ago. I put I put one up a few days ago. Nice. And I'm still working on the menu because there's uh, dessert dogs I still need to work on still. Oh, dessert dogs, huh? Is that going to be like a chocolate hot dog or something? Yeah, like, you know, yeah, kind of like ice cream with, like, on the hot dogs and stuff, like, a lot of, like, different types of toppings and stuff. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I mean, I like, huh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think about how that would taste like. Interesting. I'm, okay, I'm curious to see if you can pull that off. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then there's also four other concession stands, uh, concession stands, so there will be a burger and fries place, a chicken place, a barbecue place, and a taco place, too. So. Ooh, taco, God. Let me tell you something, you hit the nail on the head, at least for my types of food, I like all four of those things, so I'm having a field day after getting scared by those, your scare actors in those mazes over there. And let's see, um, so how big will it be? Like how, do you know how many acres? No, I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still thinking about it. Because that's like, or how long do you think each maze? Like, if you were to take the typical Halloween horn eyes maze, do you think that would be the length of your maze or longer or shorter? It will probably be by like five minutes. Um, like probably nice. like five minutes or a little, little bit more than that. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. So still trying to figure out that. So nice, very nice, and um, four mazes that's cool, that's very nice. Do you have any expansion plans? Like, is this, is this it, or do you want to make it eventually bigger? Like, five, six, yeah. Seven, so, nine? yeah, so I was thinking, like, my goal, like, in like, my goal is to have like 10 mazes, so every year I'm probably going to add like more mazes, like, every year. Ooh, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Ten mazes. <laughs> That's again just about the same amount that a uh, Halloween Hornet says. You'd be a direct competitor there. With the, and your park's called the Nightmare Screen Park, correct? It's called Nightmare World Screen Park. Oh, Nightmare World Screen Park. Love it. So, what inspired you to do this? So oh, I've been please. going to uh, Holy Horror Nights since uh, 2015. So that's why, that's how I got inspired by it. And I was like, ooh, this is fun. Maybe I should make one of my own and see what people think about it. You know, like. Wow, so Universal inspired you, huh? Yeah, Horror Nights did, yes. That's all. And so you went to Hollywood's Horror Nights because you were out here. Yes, the one in Orion. Uh, yes, the one in Hollywood, yes. Nice. Wow. Um, and so then you started gathering up your team right then, or did you spend a couple of years coming up with ideas? I started my team uh, last year. Oh, wow. They spent about, you know, about five years coming up with some ideas. And that's 
Yeah. So nice so about a six year process so far, right? Oh wow. And five more years until opening. And that sounds very exciting. I, I like this. I like this. Uh, very interested. Very interested. Um, so let's see here. And, and so you're still so again, you're still looking for you said designers and stuff. Or yes, yeah. Now <laughs> I guess should because I'll I'll leave all your information in the description. So if someone is interested, they should DM you or or message you or email you. Yeah, they can do all either. They can call me. They can message me. They can DM me. So and I it doesn't uh it's uh, whichever one. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Well, man, this sounds like a great thing, and uh hopefully and again if anyone is interested especially any artists out there um art is it um oh, I see that but any artists out there links in the description below um and definitely reach out to joey over here and be a part of this awesome idea this nightmare world screen park subscribe for more theme park updates definitely go check out do you uh they your their your theme park has its own uh pages right instagram pages yeah instagram facebook and twitter all three yeah so go follow nightmare world screen park on instagram twitter and facebook for all the latest updates on this on this uh, five-year process until opening and if you like this video press the thumbs up button and joey any last words for you to say to the people out here no, I'm good. All righty. Well, thank you for joining me. It was awesome to have you on. And uh, I'll definitely have you on again as you progress through this process. And we can, we can I kind of track the process and construction together. But as always, have a fantastic day.